Hey, what's going on, everybody? I haven't talked to y'all in a little while, so it, uh, it's Memorial Day here. I figured what better way to honor those that have served um, and paid the ultimate price um, for our country than to come out and exercise our Second Amendment rights. It's uh, It's been a little bit. we have really done an update on the B-14R. As you can tell, she looks a little bit different than the last time I made a video. I've actually got a video coming out from a match that we shot earlier this weekend, but it'll be a little while before um, that's done. So I think the best way to kind of go about this is we'll do a rundown of the rifle, maybe what's changed, uh, some specific stuff that you're stuff you're probably seeing on here that wasn't on here before. And then we're going to do a little bit of shooting, um, not very much. Um, I've only got a little bit of time, but something I noticed at this last match was I really struggled with uh, rear tripod support. Probably run through a couple of reps and see if we can't figure something out. One of the biggest problems that I was having with this rifle was it wasn't balanced at all. I could not even come rem remotely close to putting it on a, a barricade like this and having it sit still like it is now and i mean it's it's pretty it's pretty well balanced um so i was looking for and i've seen them but i wasn't able to find them they're basically brass muzzle devices they're just weights basically um, that thread on the end of the barrel couldn't find one uh, that was manufactured anymore and i was looking at having one made but by the time i i paid for the bar stock and, and the machine cost to have it you know cut down and whatnot I actually found what's on the gun currently it was 30 something dollars um, and they are it's basically an extended a2 flash hider and they're for making uh, 10 3 uppers legal so you can pin and weld them and and your legal your upper will be considered you know the legal 16 that's inch length um, but it weighs almost 10 ounces. So we added that to the barrel for a little bit of extra weight out front. We spent some time this morning printing some groups again, 50, 100, and 200, making sure that nothing changed and there's, it's still grouping pretty well. So I'm happy with that. The second thing that I did, um, and it's kind of a combination, is I added the Area 419 Arca Rail. And that's kind of accomplished a couple things. One, I was able to fill the underside gaps of the rail with lead and epoxy. So that in itself added about a pound and a half um, with the rail itself. And then two, it's got, you can kind of see it here, it's got a rear, a rear bag stop. And that was another problem I was having was I couldn't load into the rifle, into the bag at all when I was on a barricade. Cause I was hit the magazine, it would tilt the magazine and then it wouldn't feed correctly. So having that helps tremendously. I can kind of put a little more pressure onto the rifle into the bag and stabilize it a little bit better than I could before. Also, and this kind of leads to our next item, we don't have a Caldwell tripod anymore. Um, I was able to pick up an AccuTac. They shipped it pretty quickly, even though they said it would take one to three months to get it. And this thing is phenomenal. Um, I'll be honest, I was a little bit concerned about spending that much money on a bipod but having shot with it now um, and having shot a match with it, it is worth every penny. I, I have zero regrets and I would go out and buy it again in a heartbeat. One of the other things that I did that you can't really see, there's some gaps inside the forearm of the chassis. Well, what I did is I took some lead duck hunting decoy weights, cut them to size and I pounded them in with a punch and uh, it added up another 1.3 pounds roughly to the front of the rifle. And then the other thing that I did, which was actually pretty recent, but was a recommendation uh, as a fr uh, from a friend of mine that just bought a Bergara Nick. I was having problems when I was rolling up to a stage or changing positions. I would move the gun forward, and the bolt would would like partially strip around off the magazine. So then if I, for any reason, would go to move the bolt back, it would throw the round and I'd be down and have to do a mag change on top of everything else. Uh, we noticed some of the people on YouTube for the matches that we watched, they've got hair ties on their bolt handle. It's definitely taken a little bit to get used to. Um, and I think I'm going to get myself in trouble because I'm finding myself lazily like letting go of the bolt handle when it ejects. And it's not causing me problems now. 
I'm trying to not get into um, any bad habits, but it has stopped that problem of prematurely, you know, stripping around um, from just moving the rifle. So that's been pretty great. Outside of that, everything's pretty much as we left it, I think. That's all I've really done. I say that's all. It's It shoots like a completely different rifle now. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So what we'll do is we'll get set up here. Uh, I think we got a target at like 110, 115 yards-ish. Um, we'll just work on a couple different positions and, and using a tripod for rear support and see if we can't figure something out. We're gonna do a quick function check, make sure everything looks good. We're gonna double check dope because this is different ammunition than what I'm used to shooting in this rifle. Little low, bump it up. Tenth and boom. Okay. Good. All right, so mags in, we're loaded. We've got our, our bag and our tripod. So you're supposed to start with all of your equipment in your hand. I'm gonna do three, two, one, beep. Set tripod down, set bag on, set rifle on the bag. I'm not really worried about time right now. I'm just kind of trying to figure out like one order of operations and two where i need to set things right so i think what i'll do and i hope this shows up on the gopro but i'm going to start by setting the bipod maybe i don't know two inches inside the inside the gun so then i'll come well first off make sure the bipod their tripod legs are actually spread come get behind the gun Zoom out because I'm way too scoped in. Center. See, that just doesn't feel right. So, load up. Okay, that's okay. I'm just not. Let's see. Is that not in far enough? Is that my problem? Load. Sets. And impact. Interesting. Had an ejection issue. Okay. Clear the malfunction. Get back down. Load into the bag. Um, maybe I need to have this further in. Nope, don't like that. Where are we at? That feels better. Missed. Impact. Impact. Uh, I think I'm out. Nope. Okay. So I think it's important to note that this isn't probably a barricade I would normally use the tripod on. Thinking back from the stages that I've shot card is really one that I think it would come in handy and I wish we had one here but we don't so we're just kind of making do with what we've got so I think what we'll do is we'll come back off and we're gonna go for the second from bottom rung now ready three two one go set the bipod down set the bag set the rifle get into kneeling position our tripod here trying to figure out where we would want it Oh, see, I like that better. This feels better. Again, dude. I don't know what I'm doing and why this isn't feeding correctly. I was not having this many problems with SK uh, long range but I'll review the video and see. It might be because I'm letting go of the bolt and letting the string bring it back. And let's see, yep. Okay, so that felt better. 
I'm noticing I'm a little bit further in compared to where I was. Let's see, does this, is this able to see it? Yeah, so let's just kind of turn this a little bit more maybe. So it's a little bit further in. Um, I had it on these spacers before, but now it's just on the inside of. So I think what we'll do is maybe try it all together, put in, put in some movement with everything. We've got our watch configured to where it will at least sound the start buzzer. So if for nothing else, we can use that. All right, loaded. We'll do three positions, top three. I'm not gonna worry about changing sides. Go ahead and hit <laughs> start. If we can do it. Oh, stand by. All right, ready? Go. So set tripod, set bag on top. Um, my tripod's not tall enough for this. I didn't even think about that. So we're just gonna go ahead and send her here. Um, boom. Hi. Um, okay, we're gonna go ahead and rotate to the next rung. This is where we're going to incorporate our tri or bi yeah, tripod. And, okay. Okay, next rung, rifle up, bag down, rifle down. That needs to get rotated out of the way. I'm gonna knock this bench over behind me. And we'll do four shots here. I know I jacked that one up too. I think that's it. Should have been four. My hand grip I'm noticing is really important on this. Um, I'm having better success when I claw with my four fingers and then like on, let me see if I can show you with the GoPro. Um, I will claw with my four fingers and then on the back side kind of have like a, a ledge for my foot um, to sit on. So I think that was working better than what I was trying to do was before was just like fist it and then the rifle would then inevitably slide versus if you're pinching, you're pushing it into the bipod and stopping it from sliding down so it's a lot more stable. All right, well, unfortunately, that's all I've got time for today. Um, what's next for the rifle? That's a good question. I know, I think I'm gonna paint it. I don't really love, I don't really love the gray, honestly, it's kind of bland, meh looking, but who knows. I know I've, I've been thinking about like a chassis maybe and I'm comfortable enough with where it's at now. I will probably want to shoot it some. Um, at least for the rest of this season before I start thinking about putting it in a different chassis because then I'm going to have to re-weight the thing and it's just going to be a whole other slew of problems. So I'm pretty happy with how it sits right now. I'll put up a picture of some of the groups that we shot uh, with it earlier today, but I appreciate you watching. And uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, drop a comment. If there's anything you guys have questions on or would like to see, let me know. Like I said, I'm not an expert in this by any means. This is just my journey and trying to learn Rimfire PRS. So I appreciate your time and I hope you have a good rest of your week. Thanks again for watching.